Yes. But at least from my end, I'm a curious guy to get into the trouble. You yes. know, ask lots of questions. My question is、uh, why we do what we do. You know,、okay. what can be done better and all that. So from that, I went into the nuclear and engineering and then went to the business and the、uh, management and the financial and private equity and organizational change, but also Zen and meditation、mm. about the same amount of time.、Yeah. And actually, for the last、uh, 40 years, I may have spent half of my time for the Zen and all that. The other is work. So yeah, yeah. The most I worked is like a 15, 150, 120 days or something,、yeah. or something much, more, yeah, yeah. much less than、okay. so、I could manage that.、Yeah. So, that interest is still my life's destiny that I'm curious about the human life and why we do what we do, what can be done, and all the awakening and all that kind of stuff. So, with that, I think I can may- maybe come to you because your background is、uh, philosophy, is one of them, and education. So, you can just explain a few minutes what's the background. Yes, my, my um, well, um, I'm a perpetual student, really. <laughs> I'm still a student. Yeah, right, exactly.、Um, and I did a number of degrees geography, English literature, and then discovered philosophy.、Yeah. I, and finally, I <clears> discovered <throat> something that I was moderately good at. So I stuck at it, you know,、yeah. basically. And、um, philosophy of science, philosophy of language, and, and Wittgenstein,、uh, Wittgenstein. Uh, Ludwig Wittgenstein, Austrian,、yeah. uh, a figure of the, I say he's a counter Enlightenment figure because he's an anti, anti foundationalist,、mm, I think. Good,、so. yeah. And he, he did a lot of work in logic and mathematics.、Mm. Uh, fortunately, you don't need to know too much mathematics to be able to do philosophy of mathematics. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's a good thing.、Yeah. I can do two and two. <laughs> <laughs> That's good enough. <laughs> That's good enough. But、uh, here I am、uh, in Tairua doing work, thinking for myself, looking out on this beautiful、yes. set of islands. I mean, it's inspiring. It is. Yeah. And、um, I'm forever patting myself on the back. <laughs> Because I'm getting paid to do that. That's、right. wonderful. You're still getting paid.、Right? I'm getting paid. That's、yes. amazing. I'm yes, getting、sir. paid to do what I want to do.、Yes. <laughs> well, well, you know, that's the secret of life. I, I did the same thing. <laughs> that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's alignment and there's energy flowing in that sense. And I have a sympathy for both、um, Zen、yeah. and, and Japanese aesthetics、yeah. and also for Nordic. The Nordic, you know,、um, the Vikings discovered. Um, they were the first white、yeah. people to go to America. Yeah. That's a quite, very good thing. Be- and then, then followed by the Chinese. That's right.、Yes. <laughs> and, and you can tell he's very diplomatic to, to, to manage the whole process and coordinate things.、Yes. That's what he does. Yes, exactly. and, and to me, that's kind of like my background of a catalyst and figuring out, out of the chaos to see what can be done. You know, that kind of a sense so, of. So, yeah. Well, that's probably enough for me. Okay, and maybe Frank? Yeah, and、uh, I'm Swedish、uh, and have been here for 30 years. I、wow. arrived in 1990 to join Bank of New Zealand as general、wow. manager of corporate banking. So I, I've been、oh, in、right. finance most of my、uh, oh. career,、mm-hmm. different、uh, banks,、uh, and I started、uh, with the city of Stockholm where I became treasurer after five years, and I spent 10 years with the city administration.、Mm. Wow. And then I moved to Kenya to work. For the World Bank, yeah.、Uh, uh-huh. I had a three years contract, but、uh, after one year, I opted out. It was sort of too slow and too much headwind to achieve.、Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and then I moved to Singapore and then to London and then to Wellington、uh, and、oh. then uh, to uh, uh, Singapore again and then Tokyo for a few years、uh, as a head of NAB,、uh, South Asia, North Asia. Yeah, wow. And, and uh, uh, I'm just interested in people also and sort of everyday philosophy in a way、mm-hmm. to try to build a good team.、Mm. Uh, and, and you said you're lucky you're doing what you want to do to try to make every job and every person feel that in, in every situation. Yeah. Yeah. So, one of my hobby messages、uh, when I hire someone, I mean, I'm not hiring any longer, but it says I have only one goal when it comes to you that's、uh, to.、Uh, Help you learn and develop as much as possible. Yeah, Forget about、right. budgets and stuff. If you can、yeah. learn and develop, you're going to have a better 
balance sheet at the end of the year. Yeah. You're going to be more attractive yeah. and yeah. you have more options. Yeah. So that's, let's focus on that. You mm -hmm. know? And, and the pr results will just drop out. Mm -hmm. Don't chase people for dollars. They get stressed and they produce <laughs> less well kind of thing. <laughs> and it's always worked well with different groups. <laughs> and then I've uh, been speaking a bit uh, mm -hmm. uh, on uh, whoever needs a speaker. So at the universities, mm -hmm. they think I'm going to speak about finance, but yeah. usually I speak about how how to uh, interact with people, yeah. mm. uh, and uh, I've uh, uh, written, a, a, a tried to write a few books, and mm. I have one. The last one is on management, and I've, I've called it uh, "Learning to Dance: Corporate Style: How to Humanize Business and Get wow. More Out of Life." So yeah. that's sort of my passion. Yeah, yeah. I think one thing I remember we were talking here before we you come here was yeah. that our discussion this is one week ago. Yes. We we're talking about the reflection of the past year, and he was talking more into the pragmatic sense of not go much into detail, but the good society that he can create yes. and manage. Yes. So I think a hands-on and the working with people, I think, yes. maybe the one. Yes. Because, I, I like that. I like that view because you know, I mean, my kind of conception, and because I have lots of, I've had lots of students, yes, yeah, uh, in different parts of the world, uh, in New Zealand, yeah, yeah. Uh, and the states, and Scotland, and and, and Beijing, yeah. and um, really, so the, the, per, the, the, the kind of thing that you're both talking about, <coughs> and I love to see it in business, because I think business really needs to humanize. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. I think that's really important. Yeah. It's powerful. The money speaks too. <laughs> yes, yes, and, and the, to go beyond the transactional model, of course, mm, to something which is, um, which shows them that even if you have a lot of money in the bank, yeah, what's that? It doesn't really help no. yeah. you to be happy. Yeah, with yeah exactly. So, some old yeah. edits, really, yeah, yeah, about yeah, yeah. that. The connection to the source but of why we are. My thing is to start things. I like, I yeah. love the entrepreneurship of yeah. starting something new. That's yeah. wonderful. Yes. And then moving on. Yeah. And to the I'll, next I'll one. Pass it on to somebody. And yeah. Then move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And do something else. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, develop something else. Yes, so that's cool. So there's some similarity of the connection with people and finding the meaning in yes, what we do. That's very that's a I common think. thing, I think. That and we... the age being 73, yeah. yes. and there must be something. But but one thing, I don't know where to start, and you can start anything, but at, one, at least one thought that I thought, and I don't know how much time we got, but... Uh, the thought was about the China-U.S. situation being one yeah. of the main, you know, sure. attention that we have. And what's the impact of it? Yeah. And along with it, the COVID and technological advancement and the, all the, yeah. you know, unknown situation that people feel. So that will be uh, some chaotic uh, uncertainty that I feel. So uh, if you want to talk about it, if you have view of how to process it better, or uh, you know, any concern or the potential avenue for the future development, you know, I think I have some idea, for that reason I'm investing some money for the healthcare and the mind and body and the life, mm -hmm. and then I work on the uh, more spiritual end of the picture, similar to that, uh, you know, in my own space, so yeah. that's where I am, but for you, you know, I'm up, up to, for you for, to, uh, for me, to, yeah. I think, you know, to understand, um, you know, in New Zealand, uh, that we are part of a larger entity. We see we see ourselves as a group of three thousand islands off the coast of Antarctic. You're a kind of archipelago, right? You know, and we're so insulated, but we're really now part of this emerging uh, Asia Pacific, but yeah, also that... Asian century. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know, we have been so discriminatory. Against people from Asia for many, many years. Is that right? Oh, of course. For 500 years or Five, something. More. Yes, well, for, uh, you know, mm -hmm. even when the first Chinese gold miners came to New Zealand in the 1850s. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. We, you know, and then during the communist scare of the, of the 50s yes, and 60s, yes. the Yellow Peril. Yeah. Mm. And now the transition is from the Yellow Peril to the Asian century. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So, so how do you how do you accommodate? How do you get New Zealanders to accommodate this yeah, point? You yeah. know? Yes, but also for the New Zealand to the rest of the 
world. The rest of the world. Not, not, not just the rest of the world. Yeah, 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 I guess that's also the concern because, because we don't want to focus too much on New Zealand. No, 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 no. because New Zealand is really a reflection. I mean, if you look right, at but it. What we can contribute from this unique point of view and all that, I think that may be well, the question. Uh, we don't really have news in this country, <laughs> right? No, no, no. We, we, have, you know, we have fillers from the United States and fillers from the UK yeah. that we don't have to pay too much for. So our news is distorted by financial <laughs> yes. incentives to buy news. And we get all this free stuff, right. so, which we show. So, um, but we, it's, it is problematic. It's very problematic. I think um, there is great hope for international, I've got to say, for international dialogue. Oh, I uh, see. You know, and as the, the East continues to rise. Yep. And the and the U.S. Let me just say, continues to sink. Let me just say that's one a, thing. That is a conflict. Yeah, but because I thought that not from internal to the New Zealand, but outside view of the New Zealand, yeah. may have some unique flavor yes. <laughs> of, oh, yes. the, of the green, yeah. kind of like Ireland, yeah. quite different, but yeah. you know, of of the main situation. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And there's some kind of uh, adoration of the my. My friend in Boston says he's intensely jealous that yes. I'm here. <laughs> yes, and most people are, I think, around the world. They, yeah. Right. Everybody has the idea to go somewhere where the problems are less and people are kinder and stuff. Yeah. And, right. and, and uh, in that imagination, New Zealand uh, almost tops the options kind of thing. And yeah. maybe people have false dreams and hopes. Yes. Yeah, no. For example, you get here and we because from a distance it looks like everything is clean. You can yeah, yeah. Sort of eat the water uh, with right. salt. Or, yes. And when you get there, you realize that hmm, they haven't run this too well. Yes. And so forth. Uh, but the yeah. dream is still there, actually. And the seventh yeah. highest the happiness uh, rating in yeah, the world. Yes, or something. the dream is still that, there. Yeah. And, and so I think it's very, very attractive uh, yeah, yeah, in, yeah. in people's minds, particularly perhaps Germans. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, very crowded, yeah, yeah. And, and of course the Dutch came here on this, yes, uh, yeah. uh, and uh, and that's uh, I feel very lucky to be here. I just wonder if there's something pure from New Zealand originated the philosophy or something comes out of this kind of discussion. But I think it's, it's and you are unique in the position to be somewhat you know not from Germany or US but from Kiwi I, I, and I, doing what you're doing, right? Look, you know this is the interesting thing for a small population. There have been um, some extraordinary successes, mm -hmm. but not in philosophy. Mm. No. Not, no philosophy, but because we are pragmatic. So in New Zealand, I never identify as a, I always say academic, mm -hmm. I never say philosophy, but I'm really more anti-philosophy than I am a philosopher. Yeah, you know? You're a very out outspoken guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and, and I, because it makes few people feel, in New Zealand, it makes people feel uncomfortable. I'm sure, yeah, I can see if, that. If I, say, uh, if I say I'm a philosopher, then they say, they automatically assume philosophy of life, oh, well, and they want me to tell them the answer. Yes. Yeah, because I, my first meeting was, you know, first and second, I was checking it, how much can I go this way? <laughs> and that was the process. <laughs> yes, so it's that, interesting. So also, I, I find that, like, why do I live here rather than Sweden? Uh, mm. Because people say it's such a good country, yeah? But yeah. the climate isn't uh, that so great there. Well, yes. And also now I have uh, such good network here. Yes. And right. being retired, it's hard to recreate that. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, but then uh, there are some negatives here also, yeah. of course. Uh, Absolutely. That things are it, uh, a bit sloppy. Which can, yeah, yes. which can sometimes uh, feel yeah. relieving that you can dress how you want to yes. and yeah. all yes. these things. Yes. Uh, yes. It's a plus, but occasionally yeah. it's a minus if you yeah. need to be precise yeah. and compete with yeah. Tokyo and Seoul, for example. Yes. yes. Uh, but uh, net net, uh, I think uh, I'm happy to say that this is the best country in the world to live in. Mm -hmm. okay. that, that's what that's what I think. I uh, feel the same. I've been to forty some countries, but wow. this yes, is uh, it. Well, put it this way. I mean. I'm very critical of New Zealand, yeah. and I know when I'm talking to other New Zealanders and I'm critical about it, mm -hmm. they turn their backs. Yes. <laughs> they don't want to hear it. Right. But right. that's also true in the U.S. Okay. I, I went to school, like where, uh, high school, one year only, yes. but they think I'm seriously anti-American, yeah. but they don't understand what I'm saying. Right. Uh, you're blind if you're not allowing yes. to expose the problems you have. Kind of Absolutely. Thing. And you have to... See it the way it is, yes. uh, and, yeah. and and tell uh, uh, when you see that it's not functioning, and mm. and uh, mm. 
one of the key words in America is patriotism, mm. but that can easily go overboard oh, kind yes. of thing. My country right and wrong is not good enough, yeah. the philosophy. Yeah. My country right is okay. If it's wrong, you need to speak up and yeah. say this is wrong. Yeah. And, yeah. and they're too keen to, as soon as there's a conflict, they wave the flags yeah. and we must support our boys. That's yeah, yeah. bullshit. Yeah, yeah. bullshit. If, if they're not doing anything good, you, we should call them back home. Yeah. Kind of thing. <laughs> Look, when, when they do <laughs> Libya, uh, Syria, yes. uh, Iraq, yes. like the history of the 20th century it, yes, uh, has been a history of yeah, U.S. Yeah, imperialism. Yeah, that yeah, that smashed terrible. things, but never put them back together again. Can I, can I just say it this way? Because I was outside of the company as a management consultant. Wow. And then you see picture much differently than inside. Yeah. So that this 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 discussion with you, Kiwi, and this is yeah. one. But if you are outsider, yeah. possibly you can see the picture much easier because you're not hung up with Absolutely. the past. Absolutely. So, so the question to me is mm -hmm. that that's the liberated sense that I go anywhere. And if, because if I'm Japan, they don't listen to me, right? It's nothing <laughs> interesting. Right. So you have to be somewhat different. So the foreigner can have some advantage. Yes. So let's move on the discussion, not about too much on the New Zealand, yeah. if you don't mind. No, we can sure. come back to that. Yeah. Sure. But uh, from outside that point of view, from Kiwi and the yeah. Japan or the yeah. US plus yeah. the Sweden, yeah. to yeah. look at the situation, the US and the China, because yeah. that is just... I think a, that's a very important question. Yeah, and I'm yeah. pleased to meet you with obviously some insights uh, from <laughs> right. China. Yeah. No. Because I'm now... Uh, sort of defending China, not in the sense well, that uh, I'm saying this is better, yeah. communism is better than democracy, I'm not saying that, right, no. right. but I'm saying that it's an unfair game. Right. They're trying to blacken China at yeah. every step oh, yes. and disadvantage them. Absolutely. Uh, and anything they do, with, that's, I mean, one child policy, mm. how communism is that, but everybody knows that we need to uh, control the population yeah. and, yeah. and and uh, right. most people don't have the guts to do it yeah. <laughs> and they did it uh, yes. although they eased it up because now I think also people have adjusted to the mm. fact that you don't want nine children mm. uh, because you can't really educate them yeah. or anything so yeah. you want one or two basically yeah. maybe yeah. three maybe one Maybe one, uh, <laughs> but I think that the U.S. Uh, they every dirty trick in the no. book, and they're trying this us they're against oh us against them. We need to understand each oh. other and work together. Russia and China are realities. Yeah. Hating them is not a strategy. Yeah. Absolutely, but, but maybe because because <clears throat> I've been in Absolutely. the states for thirty five, forty years. Yes. So. So it's like a pioneer street of they argue with each other and the yes. lawyers and they yes. beat and they fight all the time and they don't care what happens so far as they are above the law yeah. Yeah. and that's what's going to happen. I mean, that may be the background. So they think the world should function like that yeah. and it doesn't fall into the China's way of delicate and the 300 years kind of plan or any, yeah, yeah. the habitual change and also your book about talking about the Western view of the philosophy versus Eastern. And where well, could there be a match or the integration or how to uh, synthesize? That would be a interesting. I, part. I, th I think one thing that we could be is going to be a long term thing. Yeah, which is to realize that Western values mm -hmm. are not universal. Yeah, and the likelihood of them ever being globally universal now is diminishing. Yeah, yes. with every year. Right. Yes. So they have to understand. So the Western, yes. the problem of Western ethnocentrism and the problem of yes. getting outside your own culture mm. to recognize right. exactly. that the rest of the world yes, sir. may not be the same as what you but think. You do not want to be Western. <laughs> but, but, yes, but they but, have a, such a pride about the, the constitution <laughs> and the, all the fighting spirit. You, the, you know, an interesting thing now is when Biden travels around, what he says is, we who share the values, yeah. look in your country, there is no shared values <laughs> at all. Right. It's just bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. You, you hate each other. So the, the king is naked now. Kind yes. of thing. So it's nonsensical, uh, actually. Yeah. And, and, and also formal. the strong belief that everything came from the Bible. Yeah, that, yeah. Well, that these, are, these are intrinsic values. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the golden rule, uh, everyone understands that yeah. if I'm nice to you, you're more likely to be nice <laughs> to me than if I'm <laughs> nasty to you. That's basic. It's not Christian, actually. Yeah. I, I, I saw an interview with Obama on BBC just before I came out. Yes, I with see. Was this Biden? <coughs> or? No, 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 Obama. Who? Obama's new book. Yes, I see. His new book. And, yeah. and he said, I think the US is more divided now yes. than any time in the past. Right. Any time in the past. Yeah. And one, you, your, your article, yeah. which is about the implosion Yes. The coming implosion. Yeah. Right. Uh, in two years' time, Trump is still on the wings. Yeah. 
Uh, he his politics is the politics of hate. That's right. Um, and man, um, the West is hanging by a thread. Yes. So I think that the article. I think that the Europeans you, are deeply suspicious of, of the US. Must be now. And finally, now they're at least talking to the Russians, kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. And they're going to sit down and talk. Of course, yeah. they should. Yeah. Yeah. Shooting it out is just not an option. No, no, no more. No, no. But, but more so with China than Russia. It, even or, more so with China. Yeah, I that's think. I feel because oh. the economy. Uh, even more tight. so with China. Yeah. I mean, it's 1.4 billion people. <laughs> yeah. Most of them are or relatively happy because yes. they're making progress yeah. uh, and, and uh, the notion that uh, uh, I hate the, the five at the top, the rest I like, that's yeah. bullshit yeah. because it's yeah. a unit kind yes. of thing. Yeah. Yes, sir. <clears throat> but I mean, you know, I find that the Chinese are extremely polite. There is a lot of shenanigans that go on behind, yep. like in any culture, yep. of course. If they can see there's a, a gap here or yes. something that can advance it. But on the whole, they're very sweet. Yeah. Let, very let, sweet. let me ask on that one before you go further, because <laughs> I, I'm curious about your uh, experience with, with Chinese. How many year time period, what kind of exchange? And I, I know a little bit about the academic and mm. all that, but what is your, how do you characterize uh, so that your learning is coming from where? <clears throat> let me say, uh, I first went to China in 1998 or nine. Mm -hmm. I can't quite remember. Yeah. And I was invited there by the Institute of Philosophy, which is a government controlled organization. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and they wanted me to talk about Lichtenstein. Right. And I met five people. Um, and <clears throat> I'm still in touch with yeah. people from that original group. Oh, fantastic. They've been thirsty to have an encounter with a person like you, perhaps, given from that. Don't well, you think? Or they've been studying a lot about they, it. They had been studying. One was an expert on American pragmatism. Yeah. And okay. translated yeah. all of, uh, translated William James and Dewey into Chinese. I mean, if you, that story reminds me of the uh, Chinese translating all the Buddha sutras. Yes. <laughs> you remember oh, that? Right, right, indeed, yes. And they send the people and a carried long, all the things yes. back, and then they start yeah, to create their ago. view of the wisdom yeah. than yeah. the just the. In, in, yeah, so yeah. they have that the yeah. tenacity or just whatever is needed. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's okay. pragmatism. Yeah. Yeah, that's but right. the, this is the interesting thing about the Buddhism yeah. is that the, <laughs> the Chinese scholars won't admit that the, the Buddhist roots. Of their own Chinese thought. Now that's a, that's a battle. I, that I think I'm not, yeah. I don't have enough scholarship to be able to argue that with them. Okay. But I think it's true that they do want to deny the fact that many of their ideas. Now this is a good thing. Yeah. Then tell me what. Think what do they thing. think? What? Well, first of all, that many of their really important ideas are non-Chinese. Yeah. Buddhism, yeah. number one, uh, and I think uh, let me say. Um, Liberalism, yes. Jewish liber Jewy liberalism from mm -hmm. 1919, but but also uh, <laughs> forms of capitalism. Yeah, but if you go farther yeah. to that direction, much yes. way back 2,500, farther back, mm. is a Taoism or Taoism Taoism, and yeah. Confucius. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And the, I see the connection to the Buddhism, to what they're rooted, and mm -hmm. in the government uh, in the Beijing Forbidden City, the yes. Wu the sign of yes. Wu yeah. is there. So yeah, there's. But I mean also. Uh, Greek culture and, and history. It's, it all seems to have happened uh, at the same time and, and similar yeah. thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Similar and, thinking. And it's even when any of us three have an idea, yeah. for me at least, it's impossible for me to know whether it was my idea yeah. or yeah. I picked Absolutely. it up somewhere. So and I don't care. And it doesn't so, really yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah, well, I, I, no. I, I thought the Chinese are more pragmatic in that sense, but do you feel there are some sort well, of a sense? Let me put it this way. At this moment, at this moment, because of the embarrassment of, of their, their civilization over many, many years, yes. now that they're at a moment of ascendancy and assertiveness. Yes. Okay. But, let, but let me say, Interesting. mostly importantly, mm -hmm. is the influence of Karl Marx and mm -hmm. Hegelian logic, yes. okay. the, the dialectic, yeah, yes. which is you know, central you know, um, mm -hmm. Marxist idea, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it's a Chinese idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And the Chinese idea is actually 
I think, more significant than the Hegelian ideas. <laughs> yes. Yes. Right, okay. I, I think, uh, <laughs> <laughs> because because they, I, they, are, they must be happy to hear what you're saying. <laughs> well, well I, I'm not sure I've argued this, but I would say that the Hegelian idea is too much scientific history. Ah, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. Put yeah, that yeah. over there. I, I yes, don't like that. Yes, yes. <laughs> but the Chinese <clears throat> idea is the much pragmatism. more... Uh, but, but it's also uh, interesting how there's overlap in all cultures. Yeah. For example, one of the most common words you hear in America in child rearing is share, share, share with yeah. your friends. Yes, yeah. right. Which is communism kind yes. of thing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, so. so uh, Not as individualistic no, is what you No, but I mean, the, the, the pure ism this way or that way doesn't yeah. exist yes. because it's all mixtures like yeah. Sweden. Americans yeah. will call them socialists. Yes. But the, yes. the whole economy is capitalist, yes, actually, and, yeah. and, and profits. Whereas yeah. uh, also the. The uh, uh, participants, they're mm. smart enough to mm. know that uh, we have to serve the people, otherwise we yeah. lose our raison d'etre and our yeah. support from yeah. politics and stuff. Uh, okay, yeah. so back to my question, was your background a little bit of the China, yeah. and could you follow up to what you are well, trying I, to say I from there to indicate your knowledge of the work and the Chinese people and your sense of... Uh, I how, think how I, had, I had really um, <laughs> a kind of inclination, um, let's say Asian inclinations, well before I could articulate it to myself. Okay. I, in university, I did papers about Asia, Asia mm -hmm. um, about China, yeah. about Japan. And Even so though Wittgenstein is somewhat connected. And Wittgenstein, Wittgenstein, that, that was there, and Wittgenstein's back here. Right. Yeah. But there, so you saw the connection of some kind? No, between? no. Oh, you don't? Uh, well, a little, a little with Wittgenstein and Zen. Okay. All right. You know, and the and the way in which... Because uh, the non-dualism, in a sense, is kind of like a Wu Wei type of a view, I feel, that uh, you are not putting any thought... Um, you know the the div division yeah. in, the, in the mind, but yeah. rather the root of where it comes from. It's a non-dualistic view of the. Source. Well, I, th I think that view now yeah. is um, a vehicle mm -hmm. for greater synthetic. Yeah. Okay. That's that, that, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Between yeah. Asia and the West. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, we're beginning to recognize that with climate. Well, change, actually, my view change. is that we came from the same source. Right, you yes. know, as a living being, yes, and yes, before yes. the world was born, that there was that. Yeah, you know, yeah. whatever, and then the first the world, and absolutely. then move on. So there, yes. the division and the mind start to prevail in a positive way, but also negative way too. So I mean, this is our, this is my position. Yeah. But you you actually help help me. To formulate, but I think that we're moving away from a modernity based on a kind of binary. What, what's modernity mean? Modernity you... means it's the culture of modernism. Oh, okay. And it's the development of industrial capitalism. Ah, oh, right, right. You know, um, also uh, related to economics and the yes. you know, every, invention every, every, and all the things happen. Catch all uh, yeah, term yeah, about, and the U.S. supremacy from the about U.K. The, and all about that. the future. Right. And I think we're moving away from that kind of binary opposition. Also, that, because of the impact to the society, the culture, or the nature, yes, and yeah. the impact of yeah. it, instead of looking at the holistic view of the world. I think, I think that's right. So, you know, I mean, Hegel, Marx, emphasized, you know, capitalism, socialism, yeah. and, you know, we've been, we've been having debates around male and female equality, yeah, 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 yeah. and, we've, you know, we've moved to a new kind of model that Putin hates, yeah. uh, you know, which is, you know, LGBT, ah, right, you know, okay, and, and variations, you know, <laughs> which, which is really a move away from that binary opposition. Mm -hmm, right. Nature, science, nature, yeah. um, industry, you know, um, socialism, capitalism. I think uh, Asia, uh, China, <laughs> and China, you, you even China, got to go US. to the, the the quantum physics uh, to yes, the point. Quantum, That's the way they come into quantum, it, right? Quantum, re relational relational quantum theory. Yeah is really a move away from that, kind, you know, because when you talk about quantum theory, you're not talking about two values. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you're yeah. not talking about true false. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Talk, You're talking about some intermediate position, yeah. positionality, yeah. channeling, entanglement, kind of like, this yeah. is a, a different kind of logic. So, so you're moving from two-value two, two, two value logic to three-value logic and more. Yeah, yeah, so that so, Einstein's yeah. the probability of the dice and the god, the, you know, that kind of thing, but there's the dice that well, pops up in many different Directions. In some ways, yeah. this is beyond um, Einstein's world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you know, it, it is yeah. um, beyond his conception of the universe. Um, you know, it, it certainly builds on. What about work, the discussion that. of the religion without science? 
mm. is uh, blindness and science yes. without religion is lame. You know, that's what he said, and I think it yeah. also and here to Kant. Yes. And, and Kant, Kant said the, Kant, the Kant concept said of the institution. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder Kant. which came first. Maybe you should know that. Uh, Kant, Kant said, said that's right, right, yeah. He said, uh, he talked about intuitions and concepts. Concept, right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But yeah. anyway, go back to your story. I don't mean to, but it's well, kind of interesting think, to see. I think we're in an exciting time. Yeah. yeah. These uh, these points now are points of transition. We can talk about all of right. that. Taiwan, Ukraine, yeah. the West, East, the yeah. kinds of conflicts that we yes. face. Um, you know, ecology, do we have time? Is the wonder of time going to be enough? Yeah. You know, the emergence of quantum computing. For instance, yeah. in quantum technologies yes. and finance, yes. for instance, yeah, this is and cyber warfare and cyber, instance. cyber, and that sort of thing. Or now, cyber, yes, yeah. So we're mo we're moving into a new kind. I'm not saying it's yeah. going to be any yeah. better. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I think it'll be less. The, the conflict and violence will be less. Yeah. Hmm. As a result, but, but I I think that uh, people have looked down on on Asians, yeah, and yeah. then Japan came and beat the Russians. Yeah. Uh, 1905 or yes. whatever it was, uh, it was a big right. shock. And, and then also drove the English out and as much as people didn't like the Japanese they were glad to see the English uh, uh, not dominate. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and and uh, yeah. today what we have in New Zealand and elsewhere is I have Chinese girlfriend, I yeah. mean not really girlfriend but yeah. I know people I love yeah. who are Chinese. When I grew up Chinese was like coming from March or yeah. something like that. <laughs> Right, and and right. now I know they're real people. Yeah. They can dress like I can dress, and, and their they, value is interesting. Yes, too. and they can yeah. be yes, and they can be smart or smarter. Yeah. In Norway, <laughs> they're smarter yes. in the schools. So. Absolutely, and and I think there's a great and often degree. very dedicated. In, yes, in their, there's a great yeah. degree of mm. and and we all think good people think that uh, that uh, uh, everyone should have the same chance, and and mm -hmm. and also uh, 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 and and. Uh, if you look, and there is an element in American thinking and probably Western thinking that we are entitled to something better yeah. than ah, everybody right. else. The right of a and, 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 that, and that's right. kind of sickening. Yeah, I yeah, 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 it is. So, yeah. so if you look at this uh, particular battle between who has the biggest economy, yes. Yes. if there are four times as many, they should have at least twice the size economy as America. <laughs> <laughs> at least. Yeah. And, and they're still yeah. only half on a per head basis. Yeah. 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 So yeah. you have to accept that and, and not work. Lose sleep over it. You're yeah. arrogant yeah. if you deny them Absolute, that. Absolutely. Yeah. But this is a process of adjustment. Yeah. And I think it will take, let me say, 50 years. Sure. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, And, yeah. you know, something like 50 years. Yes. And what we will see is an adjustment, which is, you know, basically Westerners learning, uh, one, first of all, that they are not the only people in the world. Exactly. You know, one thing that I want to say is that it's interesting because China has been sending so many people out of China. Yes. yes, millions of them. Yes, yes, and that's wonderful. Instead of they're trying to protect or something, yes. they yes. just spread things out and but let them digest and whatever comes. No, totally. And it's not like a confining but that you shouldn't go. We're we like this, yeah. and you, no. you know they're like this kind yeah. of thing. But Harvard Business Review, one uh, yeah. interesting point they made yeah. uh, to their readers mm. is that you should send your best people to yeah. China, not yeah. to teach them, but yeah. to learn from yeah. them. Yeah. They're yeah. ahead of you yeah. Yeah. in so many areas. Yeah. 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 And uh, this example. I don't know, maybe there should be many, but uh, Elon Musk was admiring the Chinese people being yeah. able to do in their, you know, factories yes. and get things done and admiring yeah. how, yeah. how can it be done. Yeah. Yes. So they can learn a lot in the States. Yeah. Now he's off from the Biden discussion on the EV. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, so, that's the thing. I think, yeah. put it this way, um, when you have any society that is of civilizational status, I don't mean to say there's a hierarchy here, but not just China. Yeah. The focus on China is probably now, it's, uh, you know, the focus is there because of um, the immense know, impact and the foreign. Uh, and let's talk about Korea. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, yes. Uh, Vietnam. Uh, Vietnam. Uh, Vietnam uh, um, you know, uh, Japan. Thailand. Yes. Of course. Uh, I mean, they're Japan. closer to China in terms of body and the cultural background. India? Yes, yeah. of course. Yeah, yeah. So but they can relate to and they have more you know, network of the nerve system is spreading out but, there yeah. anyway. But you know, a lot of people now, yes. a lot yeah. of people, they're, they're sort of considering, am I with America or am I with China? Yeah. But it shouldn't be like that. That's right. Yeah. Not binary. No, because yeah, also. 
I like to state that 80% of the world is non-China, non-US, yes. and we need to speak yeah, up and yeah, say yeah. we don't want to yeah. be led by the nose by yeah. anyone we don't like. No, 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 and no, no, then no. we need to represent the 80% yeah. yeah. we do represent. Yeah. Yeah. And that the countries like New Zealand is becoming more important, hopefully, yes. for that reason, because yeah. who, no, I mean, exactly. who may listen and to it, but we have Nord to... The Nordic countries yeah. also, actually, yeah. whereas Australia has decided to yeah. just sit in the lap of... Oh. Uh, <laughs> The White House kind of thing. Oh it's very God. tiring. It's, it is, um, let me say... But, but it's like a children in a kindergarten. There are lots yes. of different characters in there, unfortunately. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> and, and Australia wants to be the little boy that goes around punching people. Yeah, that's in the a nose, bullying so, a little bit. Know, in, yeah. in the, yeah. On the playground. Yeah. But, you know, this is the thing. I think there are false, false binaries. Yeah. And we're moving from the era of false binaries yeah. to multi-logic, multi multilateralism. Yeah. Um, you know, all uh, examples of, let's say, a new kind of globalism that gives me a little bit of hope. Yes. A little bit of hope that we can really genuinely uh, become a kind of cosmopolitan. And that's linked also to space. The fact that we are, yeah, are, are yeah. moving out there, we can see us, we can see a glow ourselves. How, yeah. how about this discussion? <coughs> you know, there's a thing saying that there is no center in the circle or some yeah, such no thing. Center. Oh, you know what it means? Yes. Yeah, and it means there's multiple center anywhere. Yes. It means that each individual has the empowered sense of uh, authenticity or autonomy and yeah. then connection, you know, and like a, maybe that's the connection to the uh, your, your favorite to topic about this, uh, you know, new scientific binary to in, into the further dimension of the correlation with each other. Yeah. And that... If the world is shifting toward that, not the binary and the major, but rather from the multiple sources of the information oh, to sure. connect to each other. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the Facebook and whatever social media may be bad, but the, the environment is possible that the those platform can be developed over yes, time. Of course, that, yeah. of course the, it's I mean, happening, right? It, it, it is. It has amazing democratic uh, possibility, yes. but it also yeah. has some negative right, negatives right, as well. Right, right. That's the question. Yeah. Yeah. And I think the other thing that we have to say here is that. That kind of, um, I think, uh, computing, uh, this new computing, quantum computing that's uh, yeah. now being developed, that's right, and quantum technology show that these co these companies yeah. like Alphabet, yeah, the ninth largest by assets, mm -hmm. um, more than every other country in the world apart from the top nine. Yes. So it's like, it ranks as the 10th country in the world. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what we're going to see is the growth of these multinationals, yeah. especially, you know, in China, um, also in China. Yeah. Now, I mean, we've seen the Silicon Valley, they've yeah. done this and they've done it very well there, but now it's China's turn. And so, I think also Asia, because when you look at uh, Indonesia and you look at Malaysia, mm -hmm. you look at the huge growth in digital Mm -hmm. trade mm -hmm. amongst those ASEAN countries yeah. now. Uh, it's growing as explosive. So let me just uh, point years. one thing, which I think it was the Wittgenstein who said like a no boundary. I think yeah. that's one, one of his books. And the notion of the no, no boundary yeah. is the openness and transparency. Yeah. And what I see about this element of the empowerment and multiple center yeah. instead of the two centers, seven centers. Yes. Is also the same notion of the AI. You know, if you look yes. into the deep learning right. and right. how the right. AI right. is yeah. discovering yes. that from the yeah. multiple, yeah. Um, a huge amount yeah. of data, yeah. but trying this and that and this chess and the you know the Go game yeah. and the, all that stuff is happening, yeah. which is not the center, the module telling what to do, but it's a multiple source of the data which is synthesized that nobody can understand, but there's yeah. the empowerment. And the sharing and the and the synthesization process going on. Yeah, yeah. And so that's the AI process, and that should be ideally applied in the social environment and the, right. and, the, and the government of the nations and the UN or whatever as a new uh, platform or yes. way of communication yes, or something of that nature. Two 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 forces define the next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, group um, yeah. logic. Um, but new biology, yeah. genomics, yes. yeah. Yeah. right? Number one, yeah. Because at that point now we have the ability to reinvent ourselves, yes, uh, yeah. biologically, yeah. and we have been doing that for quite right, right, right. twenty years now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and information, 
and I call them bioinformation mm -hmm. or biodigitalism. Oh yeah. yeah. So yeah. biodigitalism yeah. is the driving logic yeah. behind sure. our cultural and economic evolution in my view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the biological, the bio digital economy, in my view, is uh, is a very strong so that um, notion, the same applied in the political, the nation to nation kind yes, of equity system. Yes, I think it's That's what I, yeah, yeah, because the way of China moving in with the, the lots of scientists and so forth yes. and moving in oh, that yes. direction, not the force, but the gradual, yeah. more of a biological yeah. process, yeah. so to speak. Yeah. Of course, it's orchestrated somewhere there. Yeah. So there yeah. may be some ill intention of someone to do yeah. that. I don't know, but yeah. uh, at yeah. least it appeals in the sense of. Uh, yeah. Taking care of not me, but I mean, of course, me is important in China. <laughs> but yeah. uh, you cannot live without others, kind of a That's notion. Right. Yeah, yeah. But I think that um, what I see uh, in China um, is, um, I think, uh, a kind of um, uh, interpretation of how the West has failed. How the West, and, has and they don't want to follow the West. Right. They don't want to follow Western models. Yeah, because they've I seen think, enough of the negative Anyone things. in the yeah. West you ask that question would agree. <laughs> that, that we have lost it, kind of thing. Yeah, we've lost it. And, and if you're honest, you have to, to yeah. see those yeah. things. Not in the red state, uh, even there. Yeah. Well, yeah. but they don't want to agree. agree. Fly over America. Uh, and that, there are not that many, actually. But most people yeah. see that we've sort of lost it. The yeah, income lost. and wealth gap is going yes, like yes, this. Too much. And, and it, first, it, first it, failure. Yes, exactly. But China, their poverty alleviation program is a, such a marked contrast. It's an, it's amazing, actually. And also, what irritates me is that uh, <coughs> when they say the military ambitions of China mm -hmm. and Russia, perhaps, but the, the policy the West is uh, uh, executing drives that uh, yeah. because yeah. they're up against the nose uh, with threats and stuff, actually. And, and it's counterproductive. They're stupid for whatever yeah. reason. One yeah. reason being it's popular uh, in, in America to yeah. say military, military, military. Yeah. Yeah. And they have uh, production units in yeah. all the 50 yeah. states or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's, the that's a little bit to the side. When, when you read the history, I've been reading the history of Ukraine. Yes. And, and reading uh, Putin. Yes. Putin's speech. So yes. listening to his end of the year, but also his other, the development of the new Russian ideology under Putin. Wow. And, you know, this, <laughs> this is the interesting thing is... Tell me. The American, when, you know, when Gorbachev, right. you know, there was, a, there was, a, coup, there was a, a communist coup against Gorbachev. Yes. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. You know, in 1989 yeah. and 19. Uh, you know, and... Um, and Putin, of course, was in the wings in those days, yes. and he he was very anti Gorbachev because he thought he gave he, he yes. gave the West too much. That's right, that's right. And you know, and now, um, you know, of course, under the next you know, communist um, leader called uh, Khrushchev, they gave Crimea Crimea they to did, Ukraine. Indeed. Yes, right? thinking that uh, Ukraine is uh, a close friend and almost part yeah, of Russia. Absolutely. Yes, uh, absolutely. And there are what twenty percent of Ukraine are Russian. Exactly, mm -hmm. they're yeah. Russian, especially in Donetsk. Yes, and the Donbas and 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 Crimea was and Crimea. the naval access to uh, to the world for yeah. Russia, yeah. except yeah. in the north and in Vladivostok. Before and you guys go about the Russia and the Putin, <laughs> yes. because I have a relative balance of the focus yes. of the China yes. issue and, yes. 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 and the Russia's position. I don't know why you're interested because the Russia and the Putin may be seen as a little bit less. Impo important than China, but you see it yes. obviously something important there. But Ukraine, Eurasia. Ukraine is important now because yeah. it's uh, uh, causing a lot of... Well, the of same situation with China and Taiwan or all yeah. that similar well, situation? It's, well, it's different. Put it this way. You What's know, the point um, of the... Putin, Putin yeah. now, yeah. the West had an opportunity. After 89, they had an opportunity, but now... And yeah. they dropped the ball. And they dropped the ball. Yes. Right. They dropped the ball. Yeah. So now, Russia has turned to China. And right. they have very strong yeah, yeah, yeah. It's relationship. Yeah, yes. I see and, that. And, you know, here he's Whereas talking Whereas previously they were a bit suspicious of each they other. They were suspicious. Yes. Uh, they settled their border disputes. Especially the U.S. is strong, or oh, trying to be strong, so they have to uh, have try a good to coalition. Both, both of the countries. Yeah. So, so now okay, we anyway. talk about China 
and Russia. Yeah, we're going to work together yeah, in some way. Yeah. Right. In all sorts of ways. I can see that. But we don't get Russian news. So I can we see that. We really get Chinese news. You know? We don't know anything about this. But, you know, Eurasia, in particular Eurasia, right. and Ukraine is part of that mm -hmm. Eurasian yeah. part of mass. Oh, okay. Now, the biggest country after Russia in oh. Europe. Yes, yes, of course, of course. And 45 million people. Right? Yes. Bigger than Poland. Yes. 45. And of course, when you look at the corruption there... Exactly. Most problems are home-generated in home Ukraine. Home-generated. Yes. Oh, sir. Okay. But also U.S.-generated because... Yes, sir. Uh, Pushing Trump, up. Biden and his, yeah. and his son have been involved. Sucking involved, out money for themselves. Sucking so. money out. Of yeah. the, and, you know, they can't, they can't prove it with Biden, but it's pretty, like, it's pretty likely that his yes. son was... Taking the money, yes. taking the money. That's right, yeah. And, could, uh, could you capture again what's the importance of that, well, of all the world scheme? That because you, you have some good reason to study that, could, because there, you can study the Xi and what's his going and all that. And I'm sure you have done it, right? Yeah. But for some reason, you, that is paying, you're paying, paying attention there. Well, I mean, I think that it's interesting to understand the uh, new Russian ideology. Okay. And the way in which that is based on a critique of the West, okay. in particular, you know, the role <coughs> of the Orthodox Church now mm. in Russia as the new force, um, and that Putin, you know, it's a very different kind of communism now yes. than it ever was because he's talking about social values. Yep. He's talking about what he calls hyper individualism, which is the identity identity politics in the West, where groups have split off from but, one but another. Let me ask you this way, because from the uh, scientific point of view, or economic point of view, the yeah. AI, the power the Chinese yeah. has gained, and yeah. all the you know engineers yeah. are so powerful, right? Yes, very powerful. And I know that Jack Ma was there in Russia and hiring, doing all that. Yeah. So Russia is not as advanced. No. I mean, they have lots of mathematicians and so forth, but, but I got the feel that the China is much more... The economy of Russia even is beyond the skill, 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 skill. Yeah, 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 so the importance yes. of it, therefore, I, I'm not yes. quite sure. Except that, to, let's put it this way. Yeah. When it comes to AI, yeah. really, a lot of the origins come from 19th century Russia. Yeah, I think I know, you the know? mathematicians the, and the... Yeah. Russian... I, even I the chess game, I know. Chess, <laughs> but all form... They, call, they say Russian formalism. Formalism. But, let, in, 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 but, in but let, let me jump, jump, jump on that note. I, I, yeah. Maybe you don't care about jumping. Yeah. But yeah. India is kind of crazy too in the oh. meantime, right? I mean, because there are lots of bright the yeah. scientists yes. and the, yes. the, the and CEO of yeah. the Microsoft yeah. and yeah. You know, oh, Google yeah. and lots oh, yeah. of Indian yes. guys. Yeah. And they come from that. Yet back in India, yeah. it's just this messy, 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 messy situation. Yeah. This is great though. Pinchai is Indian American. Yeah. Right. And yes. we're talking about a new. We're we talking about a new kind of multilateralism. Yes. But if you talk about I mean, look at the way business, he, he performs. Very uh, delicate and yeah, gentleman, very Mr. Gentleman. gentleman. Yes, very yes, I yes. love and he doesn't work after very, working very hour. Yeah. Very, very smart very or smart. wise. Yeah. Not the smartness, but and it's oh. also interesting now that when the West talks derogatory way yeah. about Asia, so. Uh, half of the staff from Financial Times, not half, but many are Indians. Yes. And say, this is not right. Yeah. This is just old nonsense yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. And and I think when we talked about Ukraine and, and Taiwan, yeah. that it used to be that the, uh, the big powers had their spheres, yeah. mm -hmm. and it was an agreement you don't mess in the other guy's sphere. Yeah, 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 yeah. And in that sense, Crimea is definitely in the Russian sphere. So you shouldn't put your weapons in there. Yeah. That's that's yeah. not okay. That's provocative. And you have to understand yes, that it's perceived to be provocative. That, that expansion and, of money. Yes. And it I, is completely, utterly, morally Yes. And stupid my, my perception it. also is that Very the stupid. big interest the West has in, yeah. in, in Taiwan yeah. is also sort of provocative. Yes, of Loading course. it up with weapons. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And for 20 years saying this is the real China with 2% of the population and 98 in the other. That's just right. so provocative. But, 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 can I say it this way that those are the <clears throat> di diplomatic yeah. arena of discussion? Yeah. And if I look at the bigger picture of the, yeah. you know, all this, you know, the technique of the view, this and the, I mean, behind that is a big power and the direction and what is happening. Yeah. And we cannot lose that, you know, what the big power is yeah. doing. Yeah. And, no. and that's the point of my question yeah. instead of the, a little peripheral issue. Of course, they have yes. you know, all the game, you know, all the stuff going yes. on the Hong Kong and Taiwan yes. and the Ukraine. But, what, what, but, but the, one question I yeah, have yeah. is: uh, is there is a, a widespread uh, 
sense in the West uh, uh, that uh, China has a, a bad ulterior motive, yeah. and I haven't been convinced about that actually. I don't. I don't so so tell me either. about that. You know, you have studied the Xi's presentation <coughs> and his speech. I, I, right? I read a lot of speeches. I'm sure that, uh, and I've read the quite speech. a few. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, how? Um, what's your sense of the? Uh, you know, uh, along this question. I don't think. Look, China is a non-imperialistic power. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what uh, I think. Uh, also. The U.S. has 800 to 1,000 military bases around the world. Right. Yeah, China has none. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not zero. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, Xi is on record as saying, we do not want to conquer the world. We do not want to take over another nation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What they want, you know, this is it's not friends. They don't want friends either, really. What they want are effective partnerships. Okay. You know, where they can work together. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Let's look at it this way, too, because mm. the military costs money, and of course, there may be some scientific benefit, but the China is winning the science of it. Oh, yeah. So that the value added to the society or the military yes. in the US, I'm not quite sure. You know, you're spending lots of money for non, I think non, non productive things. in the US. It's just too big. Yeah. Very non, non -pro productive. You know, China can cost, focus though. on the robots and whatever. Yes, that's right. Can you feel like maybe you can do a little bit of the robot for the you know, yes. military, but yes, not too sir. much because it's unnecessary. Yeah, exactly. But that's the strategy I see them, if I were them, that's why bother of about course. the military. and. You, you know that they may not invade the China. It's, you cannot allow that to happen, no. so they can be secured, you yes. know, given the weight and the whatever and influence they've got. Yes. So th th that's their game. Yes. <laughs> Two things I'd say here. One, one is that we are facing a future, the only survivable future, which is interconnectivity. Yes. Both at at a at a at a right at an ecological prosperity level, and peace. At, at prosperity and peace. The, at, you know, at an ecological, at an economic, at a social level. And, 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 and if you stop there yeah. for that one, yeah. and if you compare the China and the US on that spectrum, yeah. China seemed to be ahead in oh, what, 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 ahead what? if you want to do a, a <laughs> moral, economic, economic, <laughs> ecological. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, they, they have and they're really learning even the coal plant and stuff like yeah. that. They're trying to work yeah. out the yes. EV and everything, yeah. right? Yeah. They, they may be behind. Yeah. Yeah. West may say nasty thing about yeah. it, but they're doing, doing, doing. Yeah. Is, that, is that the right sense? Yes, I think so. Yeah, but I think the so other too. part that I would say yeah. here is that the emphasis on China will shift quite quickly. In which direction? Within, within yeah. 10, 15 years, we will be talking about India okay. in a different kind of way. Because I think you mentioned they, that a little you know, bit. They, yeah. they, have, they are Sanskrit, uh, so they're part of the Indo-European tree. Right. So what That's we will right. see is a kind of revival mm -hmm. of Europe and a kind of uh, digital... A Can you tell me about their moral value or whatever, the ethics and all that in China versus India in terms of... Uh, how they work, either independently and smart versus the Chinese way, it's more of a socialistic kind of process of connection? Well, I, I think there are good good um, paradigms to look at. Because having been in India, and sorry, but uh, you know, yeah. m m several times, at least eight or nine, yeah. you know, I'm very disheartened about... Of course, the, yeah, yeah, I mean, and, yeah. and oppression from what is called the democratic government. They yeah. just put in prison yes. anyone who disagrees yeah. with yeah. them, yeah. and yeah. that's legal. Yeah. 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 So, so how do you overcome Absolutely. that? Absolutely. I mean, Absolutely. The, yeah. Well, I mean, I think that one thing <laughs> is that di digitalism surpasses national politics, yes. right? Yes. It goes beyond it. But the government and the na nationalism have the legislative means to play with that. True, true. And I'm sure that India would do something and yeah. nasty yeah. mess of the laws and, and stuff. Like, that can like, happen. That, you know, you know, uh, idea, idea is, yeah. I agree with yes. you, but the process is... But you this know. Is the thing. When something is spectacularly uh, progressive in the way that digitalism is, yeah, right. right. Even now, totally. the growth of digital trade. Yes. Okay, bang. Yes. Okay. Right, right. No government is going to try to legislate against that. Right? But, uh, and, but 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 uh, <coughs> I think uh, they have to. Uh, we got the wealth gap and all that included, and therefore the China seemed to have a better control of yep. the you know the horse and the riding. Yep. But that's the US thing, situation. We haven't the seen. Argument. We haven't seen. You know, you know who. You know, actually, the zero and the one is a kind of. Hindu, uh, you know, it's an Indian kind of based uh, in yeah. yeah, and you know, and and Arab, of course. I think that you know, yeah. zero. But let's put it this way, um, and their language. I think that they they will be a hugely successful digital power, um, even, probably even more so than China. And even if it's not 
as much as China. It won't take them long to catch up. And that kind of dynamism, the next real kind of frame that we should be looking at is China, India. Uh, and the relation, and I think the best par one of the best paradigms is to look to uh, Buddhism coming to China in the third century. But and, if you and, go farther, you know, mm, before going farther, yeah. about the India, still I'm dwelling on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the uh, Indian society and the gap and the caste yeah. and the yes. wealth gap. They sure. seem to have stagnated. Yeah, that, also, uh, yeah. It doesn't yeah. seem to have. I mean, Morgan Stanley, yeah, there's open funds on India, yeah. but no one has got the good return and, on India and, investment. I think. And, and whereas I, in China, yeah. the business are thriving. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the point. I think, Frank, yeah. yes, maybe you can sure. talk about it because yeah. more foreign yeah. direct investment yeah, is worse yeah. in China than, you know, that, that's yeah. very important. Yes, it's not flowing into China. It's, it's opened up a big gap yeah. between the sort of buying oh, yeah. and, and, and the business. The business yeah. want to continue yeah. and they are continuing yeah. and you can't yeah. stop yeah. us kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Yeah. And, and now it's not just to produce things, it's to... Uh, and all Apple phones, for example, mm. are made in mm. China, but they're yeah. also to uh, advance things. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, so the way they, they, they educate. So my view of the Chinese governance and how they do it, I don't know, <clears> of course, but uh, my intuition is that there's a smart group of people studying everything about oh. America and the yes. science oh, and the, you know, all that absolutely. constitution. But it's and a meritocracy that. also. Yeah. Anyone... Uh, Elevated uh, has some smarts kind yeah, of thing. And, yes, yeah, <laughs> and that I'm not sure it exists in India as the potential. Of, I mean, they are entrepreneurial, but the people just move around and. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I think the Indian you will see the Indian universities come of age in the next ten years. Yeah, I'm sure because yeah. there's uh, ITI and all the you know, and sciences. The other, the other thing that. is, you know, I mean, they produce lots of wonderful CEOs too. Anyway. Yes, of course. And, and I think a big percentage of American doctors are Indians. Yeah. Right. Like yeah. a third of all oh, the yeah. doctors in America. Yeah, and, uh, and, and all the physicists. Right. And the National Science Foundation, you know, that they have carry all the PhDs yes. come from China, come from either come from China or from India. Yeah, but let's yeah. look at this uh, what's the word, the science and the religion discussion too, that uh, there's the discussion of the mind and the smartness and IQ yeah. on one end. Yeah. You know, the other social element of the how to moderate and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And that power is Chinese seem to have a better understanding of the communication and the process some, to some degree. I just feel it. Yeah. Maybe the Japanese background yeah. and he helping each other. Whereas China, it's you live or die. <laughs> and I'm not China, yes. India. India, yes. yes. Unfortunately, that's the case. So if so, then the smart ones leave mm. and they do their... I have a friend from Stanford, you know, yeah. the Repub uh, what's the... Rep one of the biggest companies in yeah. India was there, yeah. and my friend, and... Uh, Tata? No, not Tata. Yeah, Tata too, Tata, Tata. Group, yeah, okay. and yeah. those guys. Yeah. And uh, I know where and how they live, but uh, it's kind of off the ground kind of a thing that yeah. I feel. So that's the looking from the business point of view, the wealth and the, who they are and what they do yes. and how they live. Yeah. And there's a gap, like in Mexico, there's a... You, know, you have to protect yourself from all the gang and stuff. In yes. India, I'm sure you have to protect yeah. because <laughs> something you know, things happen. Yes. And then that control part is the you know government issue that I'm not sure that India can. Yeah. Well, because of the habitual pattern, it goes back to the habitual pattern of how they develop to where they are. Yeah. Even I mean, you know, they've got battle. They've got battles to sort. I mean, yeah. of course, the one of the battles that they have to uh, sort is in female equality. Yes. Right, you know that's yes. a, that's a big one because you're yeah. talking about one half of humanity and talking about IQ development. You're talking about a whole bunch of things yeah. there. And if you you know in India um, that uh, discrimination against women is is terrible. Yes. Um, and and I know um, that there are some biological differences, but you know in terms of in terms of you know. Business, right? Uh, they have a lot of skill. They, of course, they, of they, course. They're of course. becoming CEOs yes, now. Yes. Every other way. But they also have a religious issue and the Pakistan issue kind of thing. Yeah. And the religious yeah. issue religious. seems to be fueled by the Hindus' mm. uh, leadership. Yeah. They fuel the hate there yeah, because that's one way of winning votes, kind of thing. Yeah, that's, Mo that's Modi and Trump. Yes, they're both on the politics of hate. E exactly, and that, no, that the, is and not very uh, ho hopeful for for the longer term. Yeah. But uh, I, I mean, they should come around there uh, yeah. uh, with wealth. Uh, but a lot of challenges and not the quick uh, return on your dollar. I think. Yeah. No, not yet. But you know, the <laughs> the the thing is, for China, its wealth <clears throat> now uh, is a domestic market. Yes. Where they have 300 million 
uh, bourgeoisie. Yes. We are very discriminating buyers. Yes. Uh, and another 300 million within 10 years. Yes. That's the that that market is bigger than the U.S. and Europe <laughs> combined. Exactly. Yeah, tw twice the size. Yes. Yeah. And I think that when you look at the domestic market for India, it's starting off at very small, very small cars, cheap cars. Yeah. But you know, you we saw that with. We saw that first of all with Japan, we, you know, in yes. Asia, uh, Japan was the leader yes. of that kind of industrial industrialization, modernization mm -hmm. policy. Then, then China, then Vietnam, yes. then you know, other, yes. all other countries. But I think Japan. But, but one, one thing I say is that the Japan, Japan must not be underestimated in this well, equation. No. Well, but the only point that I want to say here is that Japan is. More learning from China's uh, yes, of course, and then built upon yes, and the, and the India relationship to Chi Japan is is very foreign. Yes, that's the, my gut feeling. Two thousand and one, when I took up my position in Tokyo, uh, yeah, I believe that there, then Japan's GDP was as big as all of the rest of Asia together, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, in that sense, uh, it's changed a lot. Yeah. Japan has been a bit flat, and the other ones have gone like that. Yeah. Some of them, some yeah. of them, uh, and and that's okay. Yeah. Uh, that's okay. Because Japan yeah. is still way ahead on a per head basis right. than any other nation yeah. in 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 Asia, basically. Just talking about Ch Japan, so for the sake of our discussion, yeah, well, we should talk. By the way, we've got fifteen minutes. If we're okay. gonna close, I mean, we have, it may be good to have a timeline because yeah, it, yes. at this rate, if we don't stop, we're gonna yeah. go for it. Uh, we don't know what happens, true, true, but true, just true. a reminder. Yeah. Absolutely. But the right. Japan part is, uh, let's see. You know, the view of Japan is interesting because I didn't like because of the way they do and it's kind of like I need to look at foreign and then right now my assessment is that they are still like from the days when the, the nation was closed and they are cozy among yeah. themselves, yes. they help each other. Yeah. Yeah. Their model of life is therefore um, less uh, desire for exploration or anything it's but insular be, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, more yes. More internally yes. happier yeah. and uh, figuring out. Yeah. And in a way that's good because the economic animal sense of rushing and uh, I saw the craziness and people felt that they still retain some of that, but they question about it. Yeah. But they don't know how because they don't go out. So they have the same kind of a group of people to share with. But they're Rethinking of okay, what's the money's worth? Yeah. You know, what is the point of this, and yeah, yeah. you know all that kind of stuff. So that's anyway just a brief view. But uh, I'm hoping that they may come back to this uh, human-centric uh, approach of life. Yeah, which... I, I think they will have. You know, Japan has such an important civilizational role to play uh, within the Asian century because you have in the Asian century you have you know the growth of the ASEAN countries now. Yeah, you know. Uh, Fifty percent of the trade of ASEAN is with China, mm. and you know when you look at some um, Japan, uh, it's um, very strong trading country. And my view is, mm. you know, you know the concept of Asia is actually a Greek term. Mm -hmm. It's a, a, a woman, you know, originally given to the, the West. But what what a term, one term like that. Conceals so much, so much yeah, diversity. Yes. Yeah, that's right. And, and and therefore it's it's a it's a false that's it's right. a false description. Yeah, yes. yeah. It's a West, a typical Western yeah. kind of way of dealing with things mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. and, yes, and, and so no, we, yeah. we should really move away from Asia yes. as a concept. Yes, as a Greek concept. Because it's so different. Uh, oh, so different. And the people sell furniture yeah. is from Europe. When yeah. is it from Greece or from Denmark? That's <laughs> a quite a different kind of thing. Yeah. And you see it in your own. Uh, yeah. But yeah. you don't see, if anything, far away, it's all the same. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I think that, yeah, this is the thing for me, and this is what I'm doing some work on. Yeah. Um, the World Trade Organization has not yet written the rules for digital trade. No. In the last, in the last two years now, with people Zooming and being forced under COVID conditions to, to uh, digitize yes. even more yeah. effectively. Are you talking about cryptocurrency? Crypto, I'm talking about, about cryptocurrencies, yeah. of course, is one example. Yeah, okay. but also, <laughs> you, European exports now is over 50% services, oh, right. services. Uh, which includes all that, I yeah. think, sort of. And, and uh, uh, things uh, is getting relatively less and less. Uh, yeah. And even if it is a thing like a car, that's now like uh, half the price is the intelligence in the car kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Now, now we move uh, evolutionary <laughs> from a kind of raw material base, a Marxist yes. industrial kind of thing, to 
more and more symbolic. Yes. Okay, so we can send we can send software package from here to there yes. that tells you how to how to fix the car. How how to, it can fix the car remotely. Yeah, you know? fix the car remotely. Yes, sir. Oh, okay, okay. So can we talk about this subject because <laughs> so, that, that can lead me to this. So this, this is our this is our new yeah, okay. economic driving model. Yeah, there's a the qu question. I, I I don't know if I can yeah. explain because the thought can just elude myself. But the the question is, I was thinking of the human life. Yes. In the under the new economic or the digitized economy, and yeah. therefore their work content will be changing quite a bit. Absolutely. And how can they they be happiness, surviving, and having fun under the new digitized economy when the working habit and everything is changing so <laughs> rapidly? And that's a huge topic by itself. But I think that's. Sure, for sure, happening. I, the, all the exponential growth of the technology yeah. and all that, and the robot everywhere and all that stuff. So how the people respond to that? I guess that's the main question. And forget about the nationality and so forth. But just if we are, you can give one comment for each on that subject as to what you see Massive. as how we can find our destiny and the young people to find. What, it, they, you what know, their life you, could be. You could talk about that at an ontological level. Which is? Which, which is that we are just, human beings are another natural system. Yeah, okay. Yeah, another we're, we're another natural system, sure. like nature. Like any, so, you know, and one of the things we have to observe is that we are no better and no worse. The okay. natural system, and we don't own the universe. Yeah, right. Okay. I mean, we have still the source is the same, <coughs> yeah. and that we don't have any essential essence so much as we're defined by a field of relations right. of what's and around you us. Yeah, we're still connected with each Co other. Connected with yeah. each other. So yeah. that's a that's a social dynamic. The real, real it's an ontological dynamic. It's also a digital dynamic. Okay. Right. So, and I think that there is some hope there as well, and the ethics of that. Well, hope in what way, in terms of the people's uh, find the value in their life. I, I think when we I come... I mean, what do they do? Well, I mean, I think that that digital self-definition is tied up uh, in patterns of work and home life. No, I'm just and, talking uh, about how they live. Yeah, about yeah. how they live. So yeah, they live... Yeah, so, I mean, so, how so, they spend their time because no, they don't need to spend their time. time. Like, yeah. you know, they're told to stay at home. Yeah, they, they live in Kairua <clears throat> and they enjoy their time and they go out and, <laughs> and they have about. more family time, you know. And, and they then, find that they migrate in a different way. Yeah. Is that and the also, way? as affluence goes up, they have more time for them yeah. and taking time off and doing right, things right. they like, yeah. perhaps. Yeah. Yeah. The other thing, three days a week. I see, yeah. Yeah. my son, he runs an IT company, uh, oh, which right. is like 20 people, and yeah. they're working hard, they're doing well, they have a lot of fun. So even if we see these giants, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Silicon Valley, etc., uh, they're surviving. Tra 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 traditional, uh, traditionally, the small and medium-term enterprises uh, mm -hmm. employ about four times as many mm -hmm. as the big ones, yeah. and that that could well be true also around uh, uh, these new things. That is going to be so much uh, adjustment and implementation, so there is room for. IT though. Mi mi yeah, millions of uh, yeah. 25 people yeah. companies. Yeah. So that you're going to be the lots of 70% uh, IT kind of a world? Is that uh, what perhaps, you see? Uh, <laughs> but I mean, but there's the massager and also if, the, if the guide. If, and the say, <laughs> if you are 25 people, uh, whether in Tokyo or Beijing right. or in Stockholm. Okay. That's fine. And uh, then uh, uh, you can earn a lot of money. You can have a great uh, comrade here. Yeah. And, and, uh, yeah. And uh, you can design it to your own advantage. Uh, okay. And just go on trips regularly, to convert some of the income into social mm -hmm. value. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so let me ask this question. Uh, we've got eight minutes still, but, but for right. the sake of this, I'm yeah. sorry, maybe I'm cutting in. No, but, no, 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 no. But, but the que let's say if you are born as a new species on this earth right now or 10 years from now, what is that you see as value of living in this new generation? You know, how do you, what's your imagination? How would you characterize your life and how happy and how do you describe that to me? Ethically, I would say anything that starts with the term inter. Inter? Inter. inter yeah. International. Yeah, yeah. Or multi. Right. Yes. So here's the ethics. Multi, inter, and also words around synthesis. Right. And integration. Yeah, 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 I got it. And 
You, these, but, but how does that affect in the way you live? Not the, the these, description of what's behind. These are Asian values. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, but, but that's the behind the scene of what's happening, right? But I think but, also that. Yeah. But how are you living in that environment? Yes. How, how do you picture? Can you picture how well, you yeah, live? More, what would you be doing? More holistic. Well, uh, we're learning now yeah. that when you go out there and you fish industrially yeah. out there, yeah. then you deprive, you take away that's from right, yeah. the ecosystem. So we the change ecosystem. to what? And, and so we're going to be each fishing like I do, go diving and eat well, and do self-sufficiency. I mean, if I were to be answering the question, I don't know if this is going to be the case, but my life is very simple and I enjoy it quite a bit. Simplicity is great. Yeah. It's really great. And that, is fantastic. And it's kind of like a Zen life kind of thing. Yes. Well, well, the self actualization. Zen magic, right? you know, yes. yeah. And I feel just the wow. Yes, yes. exactly. And before yeah. we are busy, you don't look at what's outside and the sun and the cloud, but, but, I think that, but you have time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think ethics also is going to yes. have an increase in importance. Yeah. Now, when they have to fire bank executives, which they do occasionally here and there, yeah. it's always somebody who is not so prominent and, and is more of a thinker yeah. and, and, and can keep people away from uh, wrongdoing. Yeah. That, those become very important. important. Yeah. Right. And because of these large ones now, all the regulators in Brussels mm -hmm. and in perhaps Washington, they're watching these big ones carefully because uh, the risk that they overstep there uh, authority is enormous uh, mm. the, the profit the opportunity mm -hmm, mm -hmm, right. and and so that side is going to be I think more important yeah, yeah. and I think when you hire people you should hire I mean the, the ethics test is uh, crucial uh, mm -hmm, even mm -hmm. if you're a big earner and if you're an asshole right, don't right. hire them <laughs> sort of and then that's going to be more and more important because that's a shortcut to go for the profits with so the, the wrong way. Extension of your life into what you see is <laughs> yeah. how I feel. Okay, that's good. How about you? Well, I say, I say, if, <laughs> but, if but, but that was a good story. I mean, yeah. I, I came with, with my story and yes. you came your story. Ethics yeah. is the new economy. Yeah, okay. We call it the ethical economy yeah. or yeah. the ethics industry. Yeah. And it's the pinnacle of symbolic, okay. of the of the symbolic economy. Okay. Okay. You know, ethics, and it is a new industry. Well, I mean, you know, the ethics of understanding. Uh, you know, which is based on a kind of greater awareness that we are part of systems, of ecosystems, yes. of international systems, yes. of system, national systems of, you know, the universe, which yes. is, you know, a series of kind of like systems. So there is no end to that. that let me, let me, my, my, and and can, can, could I just yeah. add that, that also <laughs> the females are coming. Oh, like right, a big yeah. army in yeah. a way. Yeah. And, uh, I think biologically they're closer to the children yeah. than the males. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Connection, the society. Yes, yeah. uh, and they're not going to put up with uh, right. yeah. ruining yeah. anything to, yes. for a short yes. profit yes. because yeah, yeah. they see the children yeah. and we're not going to yeah. ruin yeah. it for, yeah. for yeah. you. When, yeah. And that's going to change. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think more female, uh, I, I'm oh. for more female yes. participation yeah. in senior yeah. positions. But uh, I think that that notion of ethics, <laughs> this is this is an Asian, a future Asian ethics of holism, of interconnectivity, of integration, and I think um, you know it, it it permits endless levels of new awareness and consciousness. Okay. And and also therefore, the transformation of human beings of human beings of what we can become. Yeah. Uh, that's an exciting question, I think. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we we'll, would we'll leave with that question, and uh, yes. for the for the next round of conversation, oh, yes, we okay. may have, yes. and we may start from yes. there. I don't know where we start, but uh, yes. for the sake of today's discussion. Uh, but I mean, but, but, but the, the, the the big us them divide, which yes. is very negative. Oh, negative. That's gradually easing out, okay. I think, yeah, because of people. Wising yeah. up, we are, we are wising up. You. It's easing up. I mean, yeah. if you look at the University of Auckland, yeah. Yeah. there's plenty of professors that yeah. are Chinese, yeah. uh, yeah. come, and and it's yeah. just and likewise the uh, big audit firms, uh, yeah. Yeah. and and also law firms. Uh, yeah. So yeah. so. Uh, Asian is normal. Yeah. It's yeah. not like they're yeah. them uh, rather yeah. than us. Yeah. They're now us actually, yeah. Yeah. and then yeah. everybody benefits uh, yeah. from seeing it as us rather than them. And, and Asian culture here, 
you know, Asia Pacific. Uh, I say cuisine. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cuisine is a very good example. Very popular. Uh, Asian. Jap Japanese, Chinese, uh, and all the others. Uh, and, and the new, you know, the Asian fusion, Asian yes. and Pacific fusion. Exactly. Mm -hmm. new, new, the new production of ideas, of food, of music, of culture. I mean, I'm thinking about K pop. You know what I mean by K pop? No. The popular music that comes out of Korea. Oh, okay. Yes, so I, I've, Korea, I've seen that. Korea is quite that. amazing uh, because it's more than uh, they they do a lot of interesting things, don't right. they? I mean, you yeah, saw some. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know that song um, about a suburb in Korea? Um, it became the number one bestseller in the world. Selling over a billion songs. I see. And the, and the game, right. the, the game they now have is the biggest game in the oh, world. Right. Yeah. yeah. What's it called? I don't yeah. know. But I yeah. haven't played it. Yeah. But yeah. 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 That one. They're exactly. very big, actually. Yeah. 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 So we have a, an Asiafication. Yes. An Asiafication of culture. Yeah. Or, or yeah. in some ways, an evening out because the West was so dominant, thinking they had all the answers, and that's not the true. And I think, you know, the Asian, you know, I think that we have a lot to learn of course. Um, about, um, you know, our, our cultures now benefit hugely from uh, Eastern spirituality. Of course, of course. From Eastern, I mean, Eastern techniques of self-management. Mm. Um, and I'm trying to write something here about uh, New Age spiritualism. What, what have we learned? Yeah. Well, we have moved on from it. It, it, it hasn't, it, you know, it, it resulted in a range of really good things. But I think that in the future we see a kind of new synthetic kind of popular yes, culture. Yes. Have, have you seen the book Factfulness by a Swedish author? No, I have not. I can send you the summary. All right. Yeah, but uh, uh, he is an economist who died in the process of writing the book, so his children had to finish it for him. Oh, wow. But essentially, he's just uh, uh, proving that uh, it, times have never been as good as they are. Oh, we wow. have a lot of things to yeah. worry about. Yeah. But, but measures like girls in school, yes. every measure like that is uh, humongously better than most people Abs think, actually. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and uh, the story is that uh, Gates bought the uh, uh, one for each college to like 80 million dollars worth of those books and gave one to oh, each, really? each graduate kind of thing. Oh, wow. It's called Factfulness. Factfulness. Uh, okay. mm -hmm. And and mm -hmm. I'll send you, uh, because there's also a link with the uh, wow. 12 crucial initial oh, questions. Wow, wow, wow. And now that I've told you this, you can w be right on every question. Yeah. Because they're all designed that uh, it's much better than you think if you have three options to. Yes. <laughs> three options, not two. No, uh, maybe three <laughs> options. Yes. Uh, okay. So, yeah. I uh, think I, I, we have to give you credit both for the meeting and also for disciplining uh, the speaker. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. Absolutely. Uh, right. some track, so, well, well done. It's yes, yes. Well, 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 thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 12 or 1. <laughs>